Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Over the past couple weeks I've received a lot of requests to share a recipe from my new cookbook, the European Cake Cookbook, and so today I wanted to share one that's going to be perfect for summer. It's my peach zephyr torte. It's actually one of my favorite recipes and it's the very first one in my collection of 65 recipes. If you don't have this book yet, just head down into my video description box and I've left a few links there for where you can purchase it. I love this cake because it's packed with so much incredible peach flavor. We're going to make peach zephyr, which is like a peach marshmallow. Now, it's, this is a Russian version of marshmallow, so it's a little different from the American version. We're also going to add loads of fresh peaches. We're going to add some peach preserves and a whipped cream frosting. You guys are gonna love this cake. So the first thing I do when making this cake is prepare the sponge cake layers. We have three sponge cake layers. I have that full recipe in the cookbook and I'll have it on my blog as well. It's a really simple, straightforward sponge cake. I add a little bit of almond flour to add a little nuttiness and some texture in there. So once you have the uh, sponge cake layers ready, just grab a sharp serrated knife and then split each layer in half. I have my cake ready, so now I'm going to move on to my fillings. I'm going to make some simple whipped cream. I have one and a half cups of chilled heavy cream measured out. I'm going to pour that into a medium-sized bowl, add a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one cup of confectioner's sugar, and give this a mix until stiff peaks form, about four to five minutes. Next up, we have our super easy peach preserve filling. I'm going to use this to kind of soak the sponge cake layer so they're nice and moist. I've measured out one and a half cups of peach preserves. I'm going to pour out half a cup of sweet wine. You can also use white grape juice if you wanna make a non-alcoholic version of this. Pour that in and then just mix that all together until you have a uniform mixture. I'm going to assemble the, today's cake a little differently from my usual cake. I'm going to pre-assemble some of the cake layers. That will be the sponge cake with the peach preserves and the whipped cream. And that is because the peach marshmallow or the peach zephyr sets up really quickly and then it gets hard to work with. So this kind of assembly process just makes things a whole lot easier. So just grab that first sponge cake layer and then just spoon on a generous amount of the peach preserve and wine mixture. And I love to add a little bit of that sweet wine to the peach preserves because it really helps break up some of that sweetness. And then spoon on a generous amount of the whipped cream. Grab a spatula and spread it out. And now on to my favorite part, the peach zephyr. I'm gonna break it down into three different steps to make it really easy for you guys. The first one is the peach gelatin. So I'm going to dissolve that in a little bit of water in the saucepan. That's step one. And now step two, it, we have our agar gelatin and sugar syrup. I've measured out some agar gelatin. Now this sets really quickly and at room temperature, so it's perfect for this recipe. And then uh, step three is our egg whites. We're going to place those into a mixing bowl, and then we're going to slowly add the sugar syrup with the agar and the peach jello. I'm going to use a really small saucepan for the gelatin, and I'm going to dissolve it on the stove top. You can also do this in the microwave. I've measured out a quarter cup of water, and I'm going to add a quarter cup of peach jello. Stir that together and then I'm going to take this to the stove top and cook it for a few minutes until that gelatin is completely dissolved. Moving on to the agar gelatin and the sugar syrup, I'm going to pour in half a cup of cold water into a saucepan and add two teaspoons of agar gelatin. I'm just gonna sprinkle that in. Cook the agar mixture for two to three minutes until it starts to thicken and it'll take on like an applesauce consistency and then I'm going to start adding in two cups of sugar Slowly add that in and let the sugar get absorbed after each addition. Once you've added all the sugar, take your spatula and scrape down the sides of the saucepan so you don't have any sugar crystals on the side and then just let this cook away. You want it to come to a rolling boil and then set a timer for three minutes. Meanwhile, we're going to start on our egg whites. While I'm waiting for my sugar syrup to cook, I'm going to place three large egg whites into my stand mixer bowl, and then I'm going to whisk them on high speed for just a few minutes until soft peaks form. 
And as soon as my sugar syrup is done, I'm going to turn my mixer on to a low medium speed and pour it in in a slow stream. Next, I'll add in the peach jello, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and some food coloring. Once you add that sugar syrup, the peach jello, the lemon juice, keep whisking this mixture on high speed for about five to seven minutes until it's cooled down significantly. It'll start to really thicken up, start to pull away from the sides of the mixing bowl, and then you know it's ready to be piped. So you wanna quickly transfer it into a large pastry bag. I have mine tipped with a French star number eight FT. And now it's time to finish assembling the cake. So I'm going to pipe a little border of the marshmallow around the edge of the cake and work my way in. Top this off with fresh chopped peaches and I press them into there. And I usually have some extra marshmallow left, so I like to do a little meringue kisses with these. They'll go great on the side. And then as soon as you have these pipes, sprinkle them with a little bit of confectioner sugar. That way they'll form a nice little crunchy shell or a little layer on the outside. And time to cut into this stunning beauty. Now I let my cake sit in the refrigerator for about an hour just to allow that whipped cream and the marshmallow to come together. So grab a sharp serrated knife to help you cut through all those soft, incredible layers. And for that moment of truth, let's take a peek on the inside. OMG, this is seriously incredible. So, so pretty. Time to dig in and enjoy this gorgeous cake. Mmm. Every time I make this cake, I remind myself of why I love it so much. It is absolutely incredible. Packed with so much amazing peach flavor and it's so light and fluffy. It's like a dream cake. Everything just melts away in your mouth. The peach zephyr, the whipped cream, the sponge cake layers. And that is why it's the very first recipe in my new cookbook. So if you, ha you guys haven't had a chance to order this, I will leave a link down in the video description box below. It's the first recipe in this book and there are 65 of them in this book. So if you love all my other cake recipes on this channel, make sure you get a copy of this. It also makes a really great gift for your family and friends. Hope you guys get a chance to enjoy this. Just head down into the video description box for all the links. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.